Layla Bucks is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning selves, my grown extended family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, you know, doing self-care, being able to, you know, collect yourself doing through some really dark times and try to be positive towards times of uncertainty is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are uh comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction also um if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark times and need, you know, uh, signs or confirmation or validation towards the life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like and also share on your social media favorites wherever, see, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support towards me and the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, my meditation music I'm listening to in the background is called Return to the Light, Become the Master of Your Life, ASMR, you know, 3D Sounds of Nature Manifestation. And I will post that link in the description box below. And y'all, if y'all see me moving my hand a lot, my, my cat, Irma, she decided she want to come in here and get some attention. It's like, you know, if you have cats you you know if you have one of those clean cats they always got one they want to wait until you're busy you want to get affection so i'm hoping she doesn't distract me but anyways my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas your choice will you stay in pain of stagnation or would you stay in pain of growth you know i'd rather do the second one have pain of growth knowing you know it's not a you know i've did videos before where you know or and use thumbnails you i know you heard it as well saying you know um the worst regret you could be is stuck in a place where you no longer belong or you never did belong you know going through situations um it it will have you leaving that choice up to you on you know how things go you know even though you get signs every day telling you these things are going to happen for you these things are going to do this these, these things got to do that but all you have to do is just do your part you know it just depends on what situation you're in um you know with mine i had to go through you know loving myself having confidence in myself having faith within myself in the universe never you know second doubt you know um my worth all these different things has taught me a lot of things yes it was a painful situation but knowing you can grow from that that's where the blessings begin at when you actually seeing it not as a thing that you know the universe has you know placed upon you is in you know punishing you but at first you know when i was going my going through my situation i felt like you know um God was punishing me. Universe was really punishing me. Going through all that, losing parents, you know, not being able to reconnect when you wanted to, have to go through trials and tribulations just for the fact that you being able to see your biological family. I really thought it was like, you know, um, really messing with me. You know, seeing why did I have to go through this? Why can't I just know my family? I have a right to know who my family is. You know, mad at universe, like why would you even use that as a wager? For me to have to forgive somebody who, you know, purposely took, you know, deceived me about who I truly was, lied to me about who my family was, you know, going through all those trying situations, you know, it really consumed me in the most negative way. And it made me feel like I was stuck, like, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, why can't I leave? You know, but I had, you know, you, you're in certain situations where you know, you feel stuck, but it's just up to you. Hold on, y'all. I got to pause for the cause. My internet's acting up. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had to unplug my Wi-Fi and plug it back up. You know, it's just it's been storming on and off. You know how internet can be. So it has my, um, my music in the background buffering. But yeah, going through all those different situations has taught me very valuable lessons. Because like I said before, I was pissed off at the universe, pissed off at God. Like, you know, how are you going to leave my family, my biological family, a wager for me forgiving somebody 
who lied to me about my life. You know, it was very deceptive. And I have to be able to let this go. I was pissed because I'm like, why do I got to let this go? These people need to leave me alone and I need to be back with my family. But I had to go through all these chain of events for it to change me in a positive way. You know, dealing with that pay for growth, you know, allowing myself to love myself beyond it all measures, being able to have faith in things I didn't see, being able to know you are loved. You just had to go through these certain things for you to be able to recognize it. It was hard. It still is hard at times, but I see where it's taken me to, you know, it allowed me, you know, if I have not had this situation happen, I probably wouldn't have known what my capability was to be able to do things the way I truly needed to go, being able to make sacrifices in my life that, you know, has truly helped me in a positive way. Being able to see things and see the bigger picture out of all this. Yeah, there's a lot of things that, you know, are still up in the air. There's things that I don't know and all these things, but I, I know I'll learn later when it's time for me to know. You know, it, it's just like going through these situations has taught me a lot about myself, about the world. You know, I used to get angry because there was people that knew the truth and didn't say anything. They still know and they'll look right dead in my face and lie. You know, I had to be not mad at them because I know when I get where I have to be, I can't never, see, nobody can't ever perch their mouth up and say, she didn't, if she wanted, you know, if I wouldn't have helped her, she wouldn't have got here. You know, nobody's helped me. Except, you know, the universe, me being able to help other people, me being able to have other people in my life to help me learn different things about life and about world and even about people. You know, um, my situation had made me bitter for a long time, made me mad at the world. Like, you know, nobody believes me or, you know, people think it's a funny situation or, you know, they were jealous of me and then, you know, tried to stop my blessings. I had to go through all those different events to be able to know, you know, no, nobody can't stop anything unless you allow them to. You know, um, things just happen for a reason. Uh, I've seen how God works in mysterious ways, especially when people went out their way to hurt me about this situation. Being able to see things that, you know, people put a wedge in between me and try to keep me away, you know, so nobody knew. You know, also, they always said, the way you can hide things is hide it in plain sight, you know, and I didn't even know I was hidden. But, you know, there's so many different, you know, synchronicities and so many different things that the angels were communicating with me, you know, telling me even though my life has been altered, changed or rearranged, you know, in certain many ways, you know, it made me feel like my life is fake. You know, I, I wasn't the person who these people made me out to be. They chose to, you know, form me up the way they wanted to in their eyes. You know, my family seen the goodness in me, but chose to project out that I was like the worst person that can ever be. You know, they, they tried to turn my children against me. They already turned my mom's family against me because they didn't want to be seen in a certain way. You know, that was a hard thing to do, but I had to cut myself off from all family. You know, it's sad because it's like, I don't have any family I can run to about my situation. I don't have anybody supporting me. You know, I have YouTube family. It's sad that I don't have my family to talk to. You know, if it was, it was always something hidden, a hidden motive for it, you know, um, or them trying to stop me from, you know, getting home. And it's just like, I went through a lot of those different things, you know, and I was angry, like, dad, you know, my mom confided in you and told you what happened in my life and told you who my family was. And then, you know, they, my mom always said, can you promise me that, you know, you'll help her find her family, you know, um, if anything was to happen to me. And they made that promise to her and did not uphold their promise. And I was just, you know, I told my mom, well, those weren't friends to you. You know, I said, because if they really were your friend, they wouldn't try to do that to me. You know, because I feel like, you know, if they were in that situation where they want somebody to do that to them, you know, deny you the fact of knowing who your family is, but just because of who my dad is and what he represents and how much he, his net worth was, they didn't want me knowing. And that was a sad situation to be able to go through. And I pray for strength every day of going through the things I've gone through being able to see that this painful situation has had me 
growth, you know, I have growth, I have strength, I have wisdom, I have knowledge, knowing more than I did yesterday, knowing every day I'm learning something new, being able to be grateful for all those things, uh, not allowing the world to make me a bitter person when I had every right to be, you know, um, being able to help others as well. You know, going through those things and being able to use this as a, a platform and encouragement to be able to let others know when you're going through things and, you know, things don't look pretty in your life. There's people that will drop, fall off the face of the earth out of your life. But it's just like sometimes God in the universe takes those people out your lives because they won't benefit your growth. They, they will hinder you in some way possible. It's bad because it's like everybody that I grew up with that I was friends with for years. We are no, they're like strangers to me, you know, and these are people that told me they really loved and cared for me. And they were like my sister or my brother. And now I just, you know, I cut them off. You know, I didn't allow myself to get close to people like that anymore, you know, and it, it's just, it, it didn't make me antisocial, but it's just like with my situation, I couldn't really be you know, saying everything all about stuff like that, because it's not like I was trying to brag or, you know, make somebody feel small, you know, even though that wasn't my intentions, it tended to get that way if people would feel that way. But I know my situation has taught me a lot and I'm blessed to be able to know the things that I know, knowing that wherever God is blessing me to go, I got that on my own, you know, being able to know that I was able to help people along the way makes sense to my crazy situation, my chaotic chain of events. Um, but being able to know, you know, just because my current situation is my, my current situation doesn't mean that's the end of my destination is going in a totally different direction. Being able to take me in places I never thought of even being even dream of going, you know, when you go through different things, you know, uh, your situation can put you in a, you know, a very dark place. I've seen people where they were just so miserable. And even though you would send encouraging words, they still chose to be that miserable person. They still chose to stay in life of depression saying, oh, you know, I'll never find a girlfriend or I'll never find a boyfriend. Well, if you feel that way, if you constantly keep saying that, then it won't happen. But you have to be able to love yourself and being able to know if you were to meet you, your, your, ideal self right now would you date you at having that attitude i know if i had that when i'd be dang i'd be like uh you need to come back to me after you don't grew up a little bit you know not making excuses up it's just your choice on you rather be stuck in a place you don't belong or you know is already you know overwhelmed you know you're welcome in that situation where they're showing you signs like another door is opening but you have to allow this one to close first and you keep leaving that door stopper in that door and allow that one to keep opening. The other one's not going to be able to come open because we're so focused on the dark side. We're so focused on the sadness, the depression, the mislead, you know, the mi misinterpretation or the deceptions and the lies and anything that's negative that's keeping you at that low frequency. You have to be able to let that, you know, just disappear not to tell myself that all the time i get mad at times where i mean i'm in a happy mood but them damn old past memories keep popping up like i'm like i didn't ask you to come up why can you just go without even acknowledging it can you just leave you know i have to ask you know angels and god please allow my heart to heal from these stupid situations i no longer care about <laughs> you know i'm just ready to get it over with but that ego will go on hyperdrive at times and you have to be able to tell that that helpful to have a couple of seats so i hope that this is able to touch you in some kind of way give you some kind of sign you know don't allow yourself to let situations keep you in a place you don't long belong where you have overstayed stayed your welcome welcome but you know signs are coming in for you to step up on a new path and don't allow past painful experiences keep you there i'd rather for you to deal with pain and knowing that is helping you grow and helping you towards another level than for it to make you feel like you're constantly in stagnation so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video give me a thumbs up like and subscribe hit that bell let me know if you resonate share um so i can give you a post notification shout out my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i'm gonna give a post notification shout out to let me see princess laura and who else um
Mama Shark. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace. Be wild.